All right, well, we're into this. Still no capture card audio, but, uh, oh well. Fuzzy heads on the Bowser. Super cool to see a Bowser. Bowser is incredible in this game. He's just so good. He's on another level. Okay, oh, misses the grab. Now this is going to be a pretty tough matchup dealing with that sword. Such a big disjoint. You know, uh, Bowser has a lot of range, but in terms of his disjoints, they're not super big, except for maybe his forward air. Alright. Nicked him with the uh, flame breath, but ooh, almost loses his stock there. Luckily, Bowser is heavy. There we go, just a simple forward air to finish it off. But, oh, this could be death. Oh, what DI. Very good DI from Diaper Nug to hold on to that stock, but he is going to get down tilted at the ledge. Oh, Diaper Nug almost waited out that air dodge. He was just a little too antsy for the follow up. It's a grab on him, throws him off. Oh man, no jump here. Oh, and of course he goes for that spike, but doesn't quite hit it. Okay, oh yeah, a bit of a hard situation for Dipey there. Oh man, Fizzy, Fuzzy Head was not ready to actually hit part of that Nair. Alright, that high recovery actually worked out for him, just landing right there on the stage, but... Let's see how long he can actually stay on the stage. Oh, that's going to be a lot of damage right there. Fire Breath at point-blank range. Oh, and Diaper Nug was ready for the down air. Counters it. Okay, oh no! Oh man, the back hit of Nair is just enough to gimp him. That's Diaper Nug up 1-0. You didn't even notice. That's fine. I didn't notice this whole time, and I'm staring at the audio levels right here. All right, back to small battlefield. Fuzzy head feeling comfortable on this stage. Wants to give it another try. Oh, and Dipey is just so persistent off ledge. There we go. Fuzzy head getting in a little bit of strings himself. Big fire breath, that's a lot of damage. That's actually gonna put Fuzzy Head in the percentage lead. A quick side B as well, just to scare him. Attack on another 20%. Oh, that's a re-grab. Oh, and the get up attack was not the correct option. Fuzzy Head goes with the grounded down B, which was the perfect option. All right, up B out of shield is always incredibly fast and good. Oh, and another point blank fire breath. Oh man, just devastating. Diaper Nug kind of held forward in there for a second. Okay, good delayed recovery from Dipey so he couldn't get edge guarded too easily. Oh, and that forward air was so close to connecting. Oh, he gets the side V. That's a free recovery for him. Oh, the fire breath off stage. Very good in that situation. But he's sitting at 160 right now. Bowser's, Bowser may be fat, but oh, he's even angrier than he is fat. And still not dying from that forward air. Up smash will definitely do the trick, though. Um, however, Fuzzy Head's a full stock ahead right here. Seems like he figured something out between the last game and this one. Grounded up B is super good for people trying to land on you. Oh, but Dipey comes in with quite the swings there. Oh, good air dodge. Definitely threw off diaper. Back airs, keeping him off the stage. 
Oh, that's gonna be decent damage. It's about 12%, 14. Oh, and air dodge is a little early there. You know Diaper Nug's always going for those edge guards. Okay, a quick string. Oh, man, and extends it with the side B. That was beautiful. Gets the spike, but he techs it. Oh, and the second spike is good. Diaper Nug from the trenches brings back that entire game. We're going to game three with Diaper Nug up 2-0. Yeah, it's so weird that I'm not getting audio. How frustrating. Ooh, up out of shield is always good. And actually, I need to switch that stock icon to Meta Knight. Now, I've, I've heard some uh, pretty crazy things about this Meta Knight here. I say as he <laughs> dies right there. I, I didn't exactly see how, but the timing's great. Okay, yep, keeping up that pressure off stage. Meta Knight just gets complete control over the skies. Ooh, trying to read out maybe a roll there. <laughs> Both swinging just outside of range of each other. Ooh, a nice little neutral B, I think that's a neutral B. Ooh. Jabs are good against a spot dodge. Oh, and a neutral B is good against contact. <laughs> oh, a super deep Nair. That's probably going to be a dead Lucina. And Fuzzy Head's sitting at only 75, so he could definitely take this back if he plays the stock clean. Retreats to the other ledge. There we go. Oh, man, gets interrupted there. It was just like I was saying before, Lucina just has an incredible disadvantage state. Uh, she has a lot of options. Nair is quite quick. Back air is very quick. Uh, of course, up B is frame one in the air. The patience from Diaper Nug also is just always... Incredibly inspired, but a side B is going to be sending him off stage. Another super deep Nair. The same way that he took that first stock. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But that back air is definitely going to take the stock back, and we're at a perfectly even game on the last stock here. Dipey applying some pressure, pushes him off stage. Quick up B just to get him off. Oh, the down B. Oh, man, and there it is. And that is why he plays Meta Knight. What an incredible string. It finishes it off with the neutral B. I don't even know neutral B kills. Maybe it was just because it was so close to the blast zone. But, wow, what an incredible showing right there. Seems like the Meta Knight was quite the choice, and I feel like Fuzzy Head will probably stick with that. Yes, sir, we're back on the Meta Knight versus Lucina. We're going into this game four. Fuzzy Head not going silently into that good night. Diaper Nug, one of the best players here, uh, first seed tonight. Oh, we got a nice string going. It's only going to add up to 40%, though. Dipey's already caught up with that, just with a few straight hits. Oh, a nice side B that was... I don't know if that really counts as a spike, but it certainly sent him down. Dipey with a really good neutral air dodge. Oh, watches out for that B. I don't think he was quite expected for the B, expecting the B specifically, but... 
Definitely shield was good. Okay, reads the tech in place. Up he had a shield, always good. Oh! Able to read the spot dodge. Excuse me. Alright, Fuzzy Head nice and tricky there on the ledge so that he can get back on the stage safely. A trade there. And Diaper Nug is struggling to find that killing blow. There we go. Finally an uppie will take it. And uh, Diaper's not too far behind now. Oh, barely misses that. It's a good spot dodge from Diaper. Oh, there's a re-grab. Oh, but the up B covers him, but a down B. Just a raw down B is going to be able to take it. He reads out that get-up attack. And that's really what Fuzzy Head's been doing a lot, is uh, reading the get-up attack. I feel like that should just not be an option Dipey considers anymore, fighting Fuzzy Head. Oh, man. Runs through him as he spot dodges. He just wanted to turn around and grab. Jab is good to cover a neutral get-up. Oh man, expecting him to run in there maybe. <laughs> Alright, Dipey is a little more timid to go uh, attack off stage against a Meta Knight. You definitely see that's where uh, Dipey tends to feel most comfortable is off the ledge, but... There we go, up till is gonna take it. Dipey's at 81%. So... Oh, just a quick forward smash. I didn't realize how much knockback... Uh, Meta Knight's forward smash had. Alright, give me one second. I'm gonna go put on a jacket. Dipey hovering Terry? The Terrence? Getting some advice from the peanut gallery. Carbon Copies tells Diaper to trust his heart. Alright, he's sticking with the Lucina. This is game five. Winner of this goes on to Losers Finals, where they are guaranteed a cash payout. We have $75 total in the prize pot tonight. Split between the top three places. Right off the bat here, Fuzzy Head has a bit of a lead, and as I say that, Diaper Nug does a downward version of side B to put himself in the lead. These boys are really just kind of trading blows and strings here. Oh, but that is something that is not easily traded. Fuzzy Head gets the super deep edge guard right next to the blast zone. Man had to sneeze on him that far out, and the boy was dead. Diaper's struggling to find his way onto stage right now. Oh no! He's struggling to hold onto his stock. That neutral B was super scary, and Diaper Nug able to maneuver his way through it. Oh, barely missing that up B. I feel like if that up B had connected, that might have been Diaper's second stock that high up. Alright, even stocks here. Let's see if Dipey can do some work on this stock before he loses it. He's 
off stage again here, and Meta Knight is just able to go so deep for that pressure, he scares Dipey off into gimping himself. This is more and more looking like a fuzzy head set. And these up airs going. Oh man, dog. That is just incredible. You can tell that Fuzzy Head spends time in the lab. He is ready to just kill you for nothing. 